Today we are going to be doing another cooking video and it is another recipe from TikTok. Yes, it is, but don't worry. This one doesn't have as many steps as the last one I posted this week. This should be really quick, simple, and easy to throw together for dinner any given day of the week. Everyone should like it for the most part as well, including um you know children and all of that you don't need a whole bunch of ingredients and honestly i picked it out because it looked pretty dang good um when the girl made it in um you know that clip on tiktok so with that being said why don't we go ahead oh i should probably tell you guys what it is right <laughs> Some may love it, some may not. I feel like this is a different twist to it though. Um, it's not like, you know, how it's typically made or how you can buy it in the box when you just, you know, add the ground beef to it. It is going to be a hamburger helper. So yeah, I haven't actually had this in quite a long time. Um, so I'm really excited. Let me turn you guys around real quick and I can show you all of the ingredients that you will be needing. And pretty sure that's about it. I do have the water boiling on the stove because um, you are going to, you know, going to be needing some water for your noodles. You know what? Let me just go ahead and show you what you'll need right here. I don't even have to turn you guys around. Um, so you're going to need some tortellini. I think that's how you say it. Tortellini. <laughs> tortellini pasta right here. I picked this one. It, there's so many different kinds that you can choose from. This is uh, real roasted garlic inside. I really like um, the taste of garlic and onion and stuff. So there's ones that come with like cheese and stuff. I uh, really, really like these noodles as well. So that's what her recipe called for. I'm sorry, those were actually chicken and uh, roasted garlic. I didn't know there was chicken inside there too. I just said garlic. Moving along, you need some marinara sauce, a whole jar of that. Again, I got the garlic. I already have that in my pantry though, so that wasn't planned. <laughs> you are going to be needing a Philadelphia cream cheese. I did not need to get the less fat one. I got two in a pack. That's why you've seen the other one in the previous video that I just posted. You're going to need some ground beef. Um, hers, I think she only cooked about like half of this. So we'll save the other half for a different video. Then some, you know, oh, don't mind my nail. Some uh, mozzarella cheese. I like mine to be, you know, freshly grated. So along with that, you're gonna need your grater and then all of your seasonings. So, you know, I have black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. Uh, I'm gonna use seasoned salt this time. Not regular salt, crushed red pepper and lorries. Those are typically like my go-to um, seasonings that I use maybe all the time maybe not everything all the time but yeah so let's go ahead and get this started I'm gonna move you over to the stove all right now that I moved you guys over to the stove I just cut that ground beef in half I may use actually a little bit more I was looking at it and I might go ahead and use the whole thing, but let me put this in here first. I have my pan heating up and just see how that breaks down. And then we can always add more or less or whatever you guys prefer, you know, while you're making this at home. I'm just gonna see how it goes as I'm cooking it. So let's just kind of break that down. My apologies if you can hear <laughs> the uh, leaf blower outside. They always choose to, uh, you know, do that at the best time possible. <laughs> no, I'm not mad at them though. They're just doing their job. I'm the one that's working from home. Hopefully I won't be around here too long though. Okay, 
Let's break that down. Let me cook that, you know, let it start to brown up a little bit and then I will come back to you guys. So as you can see, we finally got things rolling. By the way, I actually did go ahead and add that other half, um, half of that into this just because I felt like the half that I already put in of the whole thing, <laughs> I'm hoping I'm making sense here. <clears throat> it just wasn't enough for me. So yeah, I added another half of the half that I already split up. So we're just going to go ahead, let this cook all the way through and then drain the meat out and I can show you what to do next. So I went ahead and drained out the meat. We're gonna dump that back into the pan. Like that. Now you're gonna start adding your seasonings. And turn it down on a lower heat <laughs> level. All right, first I'm going in with some garlic powder. Next is crushed red pepper. I want that to be spicy. Then we have some onion powder. I hope I said garlic for the first one. Black pepper. Excuse me, some seasoned salt. but not least some accent salt and then go ahead and give that a stir At this point, now that your water is boiling, I'm going to add my noodles into the water. Okay, now that we added those, go ahead and kind of push them down a little bit so they all get covered and then you're gonna want to have those cook while these are cooking we're gonna go back to the meat we are going to be adding the marinara to the meat now and remember we are adding this whole jar Mix that around. Turn the heat back up. <laughs> Next, you're gonna wanna add your Philadelphia cream cheese. Get 
Give that a good stir. Once you got all the cream cheese mixed together with the marinara and the meat, and you're done straining your noodles, they're cooked all the way, you're gonna go ahead and add your noodles into the pot or the pan. This actually makes a very, very, very large amount, you guys. So this is perfect for, you know, big families, a family gathering, you know, a holiday, a cookout, whatever. Then you wanna go ahead and mix this in. And let me tell you guys, I tasted that sauce. Whew, it's good. It is good. I do have to say, mm. Comment down below if you guys end up making this little dish for maybe your family or whoever. And let me know if you guys liked it as well. Did you, you know, modify it to make it your own? I wanna know, but man, does this make a huge portion. Look at all this. Last but not least, once you got all that mixed together, you go ahead and grab your mozzarella cheese that you grated up and just sprinkle that right on top, okay? And that will melt down and taste amazing. Comment down below. Make sure you share this video, like it, and subscribe if you are not already. I would appreciate that very much. You can always find me here on YouTube and Instagram and Nicole, of course, on Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook. It's Nicole, of course, with two E's at the end. I love you guys so much. I will see you tomorrow.